So, welcome. Thank you everyone for coming and uh, we would like to welcome you all to the first round table, table round sessions of our lady nights because uh, we like to think of it as like the nights of the round table, don't we Matt? We do indeed, yeah. You know, so and there's no reason why a knight couldn't be a lady. I've watched that Game of Thrones. <laughs> first of all, we'd like to thank you all for joining us on our, our first round table session and uh, being able to talk about the highs and lows of the UK film industry, you know, and so what we'll do is like, we'll, be, we'll ask you questions, but this is also an open caucus and a free for all in conversation with. So Matt, would you like to lead us to the first question? Uh, yeah, so I just want to take you right back to when you first started as actresses and when you went for your first audition. So could you just tell us what your first audition was and did you get the part? Well, for me, yeah. years ago, I feel old. <laughs> I auditioned for the Italian Conti in London. And um, my first audition, I played, you know, Tallulah, I was a boxing alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So that was my first, like, audition. Um, but I never got a scholarship to go, so we found a couple of at the time. But yeah, that was my first audition. Now, of course, now, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Well, it didn't put you off, though, did it? Yeah, it didn't put me off. I just led into like another direction for a bit, and now I'm back to mm -hmm. to the first one. So was it one of those where your parents took you down to the yeah. audition? Went down, it? obviously it's the school fees are quite a lot and then to live with yeah. a family. So I'd have to live with like a living family. Oh. So um but at the time I just put my family like with class people we couldn't afford to obviously put me up in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just I went to another facility here then called Annie Clark, oh, which yeah. is just as good. Yeah. There's yeah. quite a lot of talent that's come from there, so Oh no, no. Yeah, wow. so that was my first audition. That's cool. Anybody else? Well, my first audition for was it for a feature film and filmed in Crosby um, or Blood Science in Crosby. Um, and to be honest, I got it through my housemate. My housemate found it on Star Mail. And I made she needed somebody else and she was like, Yeah, I have a friend. <laughs> so I went over and I ended up getting it. And to be honest, it's it kinda of set me off after you when I went to uni, you know that you just get kicked out the front door and be like, see ya, enjoy! And that's literally all you get given once you leave uni. So, from, for doing that, it kind of helped me kind of understand where I wanted to go. I learned a lot because you learn so much on set. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So, were you acting already at the time? Or well, I've done, done, done lots of theatre throughout when I was younger, but I've never done anything to do with cameras. I had no idea how a set worked or anything like that. So, to, to be given the opportunity to work on a set, like a feature film, so it was a long process yeah. um, to know how the film, like the camera angles worked and just loads of things like that. It was great for me to be able to, to learn, if you like. So. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. We have to look for that. You have to let us know what, what uh, film that was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I definitely want to know now. <laughs> so. My first audition was also in um, Crosby and Blood and Sands, but it was Theatre, um, I was for a pantomime. All right. Um, and I auditioned for one half of a comedy theatre, um, which I'd never really done much comedy acting before, and didn't think it was my comedy. But I got the part. Oh, oh really? Did um, you have to do improv or something? Um, no, it was scripted. I went into the audition room and was given um, an already written script, and just had to perform it to the director and a panel for the theatre company. Um, and I was very nervous because I was very young at the time and I hadn't really had any experience. Um, but went in, give it the best shot, that's all you can do, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, I got it and gave me confidence that, yeah, I can go on and, and hopefully pursue. Well, can I just ask you, I mean, like, uh, being nervous and everything, I mean, what do you think was the difference? Uh, there was probably a lot of other people up to the park. Yes, there was. There was, there was many people who had met going for the same role um, and also walking into an audition room for the first time and having four people sat in yeah. front of you, you're just like, yeah. It's like The Apprentice, right? It's still scary now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier, don't, don't get me wrong, but it was the first experience I've had and I just went, oh my god, and then just gave me the best shot and got it. So now I still get those names, but I know that I can do it. I think nerves are natural though. Oh, well, nerves are a good thing. I'm always yeah. nervous. Yeah. My voice always yeah. goes high yeah. when I'm nervous. So, you know, when you're first going for an audition or something, you know your lines and you think, don't call, don't call. 
and then all of a sudden, like, I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wait five minutes? Just let me breathe. Actually, no. Breathe. <laughs> When you have to be yourself, when they get yeah. to talk about yourself, they go, oh, 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 oh. But I don't, when I'm doing my scripting things, I'm fine. Yeah. But it's when yeah. I can't talk about myself, which is absolutely the hardest things. thing to like, talk about yourself, ah. I think. Yeah, it's like, what do you yeah. pick? You know, yeah, I mean, like, do you really want to know what I did Saturday night? I don't know. But do you know you said it gave you a bit of a confidence boost? I mean, auditioning, you're going to get a lot of rejections. Yes. Is that yeah. really demotivating, or how do you keep yourself no, motivated? I, I, it's just the learning thing, so yes. it's just experience and you don't you don't expect anything, you go and give it your best and, mm -hmm. and then you come out and like you're grateful that you got there, you've done yeah. your best and then you always learn. You don't like sit and wait for what I am so if you got it, do yeah, you just go yeah. to the next audition. Yeah. Well, what I what I do is once I've gone in come out of an audition, it's out of my control. Yeah, and I, I, yeah. I can't do anything more to influence their decision. Yeah. So as soon as I walk out of that room, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm looking for the next thing. What, what's, what's the next thing I've got to do? Um, what, what's my next audition? That's what I'm focusing on. And then when I get, if I get a call back, either for a call back to a second audition or to say that I've got the part, mm -hmm. It's a nice little surprise for me. Yeah. It's a cool. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, you're there because the casting directors have said, yeah, I'll choose this person, yeah. this person. Yeah. So yeah. the only thing that you can do in your job is just, just turn up. Yeah. yeah. If you've got what they want, you have. But if not, then go to the next job. Because you're already there because they want you there. Yeah, so you that's the way you've got to have it. Yeah, exactly. And you have to take place. the positive from it. If, if you do get rejected from an audition, you go, well, do you know what? At least I got myself to that audition. Yeah. Yeah. I walked in that room in front of those yeah. casting directors and sure. whoever else is there. Have that, the that's the positive. Yeah, exactly. I've got myself yeah. in there. It gets to the point where you go to that many auditions. Yeah. You just become like a machine and yeah, then yeah, just go into them. You just go there, do what you can, give your best and then come out and then you've got to forget about it as yeah. soon as you yeah. as soon as you've been in there because it's otherwise it plays on your mind. mind and then you know that's when you start going, Oh maybe I'm not good yeah. enough, maybe this, maybe that. But in actual fact it's not that at all, it's just it could be anything, it could, it could be, be the, maybe stuff. yeah, maybe you yeah. didn't have the right colour hair, maybe yeah. you didn't you know. It could be anything, so you just go in there, do it, and then come out and forget about it. If you get a call back, you know, yeah. as, a, as a tall girl, um, I, I have often been rejected at auditions because I'm too tall. Really? Oh. Um, especially oh. if, you know, they've already cast a man yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and, and who isn't as tall as me. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Sometimes it's not, it's got absolutely nothing to do with your talent and your ability. Yeah. It's about whether or not you fit into that certain box that the casting director is looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've gone down to London and I've changed the brief. I've been on the train. <laughs> <laughs> well, they changed the brief and I was like, well, I'm on the way to London. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come anyway and see if they like, because I don't really have brief. And I was like, it's, it's, well, I'm obviously going to London, so I may as well turn yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. But it's just one of those things. It's like a number game, really. Yeah, yeah. You well, just need that one, one audition that could possibly change your life. Yeah. I mean, yes. everyone who's sitting around this table is just one so lucky break. That's it. I mean, you know, for different reasons. That's the thing. You just need that one lucky break that can change okay. everything. Yeah, yeah. And chance. also, if that one audition doesn't get you the role that you went for, something else. Yeah, can yeah. definitely. Oh yeah, because you were yeah, you were in a room. Can I just ask you something on that audition thing? Because I mean, um, I mean, I've, I've been to a lot of auditions and stuff. You know, from the casting side of things. And I just want to know for you. Anybody can answer this. It's like I've seen. You know, people overthink the audition, you know, like, uh, it's like, you know, somebody has to come, you know, you're your wife and you're having tea with your husband and, you know, go. And, you know, somebody comes in with a bag, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> right? <laughs> they pull up the prop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. And as a casual, you're just sitting there going, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, what about? I mean, what do you think about that? Do you think that you have to overthink the audition? Because I like what you were saying about how you got your part and everything. But what what about the others? Do you? I think it's ridiculous. Like, I, I would never go to an audition with a prop unless it was, <laughs> I, like just pulling out a hat. Yeah. Just like no. Oh no. yeah. <laughs> See that. I, I, I just don't. I just don't. I usually ask the casting director or the agency and say, look, is it worth me going in character, or do they want me to do? to just go as me and then be the character that they give me or whatever they are. Because sometimes they'll say to you, it, you know, yeah, maybe go, because I've been to an audition where I had to play a teenager. <laughs> 
I don't know what like a teenager, yeah, yeah. so it was, ca- it was cast, I don't know, I thought it was bad casting, so I already went with that negative <laughs> attitude yeah. really, um, which you should never do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I went to the audition and she, the agent said to me, now dress as a, a scally, I want you to have a hoodie, wear your earrings, you know. So I go there, it was in Manchester, so I guess it's on the train. <laughs> 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 so I'm on the train in my scally gear, and I'm thinking, right, yeah, I'm, I'm looking like a scally and that. And I get there, and I'll just the audition. And, uh, and I still didn't get it, so I think... <laughs> I, think, I, think I think it's just a, that's a very different experience to not, yeah, as, as you know yeah. full well. Yeah. You don't need someone to dress up, come yeah. in as a character. I think yeah. as, a, as an actor, that's our job to be able to portray it. But as an artist, yeah. I can understand where maybe that guy is coming from. Because if he feels like that is going to make his, like, you know, draw, not draw attention to himself, but seeing that he's make thinking outside out. the box, yeah. Yeah. then yeah. maybe that's a way to draw, you know. But I think it's our And being real, yeah. 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 Now, it kind of makes you feel a bit forced mm. when you're doing auditions, or do you, do you want to be more spontaneous? And you want to stand out, out there, so you know, at the end of the day. I, I like being yeah. a character, I like going dressing as a character. I, 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 I was I was a bit of spice in there or something. I, I was find, I go to an yeah. audition quite neutral, mm. and then the casting director can mm. put whatever energy yeah. is they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah that's that. But with yeah. theatre, I find the more neutral yeah, you are, because it is judged more on your ability yeah. and talent than on the looks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So, um, next question is... Uh, so, well, yeah, I was going to ask, because you, you mentioned you've gone to auditions in, in London, Santa Crosby, but also in Manchester and London. Yeah. Do you feel there's opportunities for uh, actresses in Liverpool? You have so to now, look really hard yeah. for them. They're not it's as more obvious. Manchester, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are things in terms of, like, like short films and there's amazing, there's some really really talented directors and, and, and actors in Liverpool and I think it needs yeah. utilising more. Yeah. But in terms of the, all the BBC I think are up to the top of keys, it's, it's, it's ever growing I think, yeah. and which is a great thing because yeah. it's really expensive to go to London. Yeah. <laughs> really expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, yeah. in terms of up and coming and emerging talent, yeah. you don't need to look any further. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we, we are a very talented city. But the fact is, casting directors, directors, producers, the actual filmmakers are not here. The, yeah. No, for the big productions yeah, that we want to be in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the likes of BBC, ITV, Sky, well, etc. They're not here. Well, they've, 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 they've been casting like Game of Thrones and uh, Star Wars. They've been actually yeah, doing yeah. that kind of casting up north. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but not in the Liverpool. I think Manchester's such a, a big. Yeah. And to be honest, it's the, I, mean, I don't mind. It's the end of the train line, do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, as long as people like the likes of Danny Boyle and Nina Gold and these people that are incredible and like. Those kind of things that are going to Manchester, that's what matters, I think. Yes. I mean, I mean, obviously it would be amazing for someone huge and, and give Liverpool like a... I think it will happen, though.